Hey everyone, Brian from Workshop Addict, and we have in front of us Hitachi's new EC99S four gallon twin stack air compressor with an oil lubricated cast iron pump. This is probably one of the most quiet and most powerful small air compressors that we've had in the shop in a long time. This is a nice quality built unit that's got a fan connected to the 15 amp 2.0 horsepower uh, direct drive induction motor. This thing has a max PSI of 135 and it has 3.1 CFM at 90 PSI, 3.05 CFM at 100 PSI. This thing weighs in at 53 pounds and has a very nice lockable regulator that's right up top, easy to read. Uh, very little vibration in this unit. There's rubber feet on the bottom and everything on here is rubber mounted. When you carry it around, you can kind of feel that everything is connected well, built well, and you have drains on each tank so you can drain out any condensation that might build up over time or while you're traveling you can easily drain the tank so you're not carrying it around pumped up. Very nice recovery time. The first thing that we tested on this after we did our initial break-in was a recovery time to see how fast will it recover without load and that was right around 20 seconds. Uh, the initial time that it'll take to pump this up is right around 1 minute 20 seconds. So when you first get this out of the box, take it out, make sure you put the oil in it that comes with it, make sure you have enough oil in it, look at the instructions, read them over, they don't tell you to break it in, uh, but we basically set this up, opened up all the drain valves, put in our air hose and opened everything up, let it run without pressure for 30 minutes. This helps to break everything in. You'll notice everything starts to smell a little hot, but at the same point, there is no load on this and you're just running it to break it in. Any single stage or even dual stage cast iron pump should be broke in that way. Uh, I don't know why they didn't have it in the instructions, but it's a good idea. What we did to test this out, Basically, you could run multiple nailers off this. We got a framing nailer out, ran some nails in, and a lot more than what we're gonna show you just because we wanted to see how it recovered. And you can run a framing nailer all day on this and your recovery time is pretty close to the same as if you had no load on it. So to actually use this a little further, we decided to pump up the tires in the Jeep behind us. We took them basically from 30 pounds up to where they should be, closer to 50 pounds. We're gonna see how the tread wear goes on that with tire contact on the road. Basically, once we started pumping air in, the air compressor started up and it kept running throughout all the four tires that we pumped up. But the good news on that is that we still had performance. We weren't sitting there at the uh, tire waiting for them to go from you know, 30 to 50 PSI. We were continually putting a good amount of air in the tire, so we never really dropped below 90 PSI while this was running. That's excellent for a small unit like this, and I think that a lot of people, even contractors, might buy this, use it for multiple different items. If you're a homeowner and you see this guy, this is something that you could use around the shop. You could run a small impact wrench off of it. It's not gonna be constant. I mean, you gotta realize you still only have three SCFM, but what you need to do is say, okay, how long do I need to run this tool? This will work for many people, and it'll pump up faster and last a lot longer than those small oil-free compressors that you have out there. If you get a chance to check this guy out, I highly suggest it. Very nice little unit. Read more about this at workshopaddict.com. We have a blog that will have a full write-up on this, and we also have a forum. Check us out on social media. We have a lot going on on our social media channels. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate that. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.